The Unawatuna beach is a stretch of coastline that spans for nearly one and a half kilometers in the south of Sri Lanka and has attracted both local and foreign tourists for over half a century. The coral reefs of Unawatuna helped create a waveless natural pool that made it a haven for swimming and scuba diving. But today, this once pristine beach is receding at a rapid pace. A number of foreign tourists were astounded at the current state of the Unabatuna beach. Uh, when I was here in 80, 1986, it was my first time. It was one of the 12 nicest beaches of the world. And now if you look, it's like a smaller version of Rocky Mountains. The reason for the destruction of the Unabatuna beach is the breakwater that was built by the Coast Conservation Department. The breakwater, which stretches nearly a kilometre into the ocean, has disturbed the natural balance of the ecosystem and is washing away the sand from one half of the beach and depositing it on the other half. To prevent the erosion that is currently taking place, large rocks have been piled along the shore and this has become a nuisance for tourists. We are about one kilometre into the sea from the Unabatuna beach and this is the artificial breakwater that has been created that has disturbed the natural ecosystem of the Unabatuna beach area. Experts say that this area, this location was very famous for surfing as well as snorkeling and scuba diving. But today we can see that these industries have been affected badly and from the glass bottom of our boat we can see that the corals which used to be beautiful corals that used to be here are no more today. The plea of the locals of Unavatuna is that the breakwater be destroyed. Even though the authorities are quiesced to their plea, it is only the top layer of the breakwater that has been removed thus far. The livelihoods of the locals too have been gravely affected because a wide network of hotels, restaurants and other businesses depend on the tourists arriving at the Unavatuna beach for their survival. The number of tourist arrivals in Unavatuna is declining by 17 to 20 percent each year. Let alone the tourists, even the locals who come here from Colombo, Norelia and even Jaffna ask about what happened to the beach that they remember. The aim of the Coast Conservation Department is to create an artificial beach while preserving the breakwater. Poor tsunami sea erosion in this area was in a very bad state. It went on for about four to five years and so a breakwater was designed. However, there was a problem with the length of the breakwater. We are not denying that there is a problem. There is no reason to pump sand here if the rocks are removed. That is the long-term solution. The sand is being deposited here as a short-term solution. If they are active, then what they should be doing is not dumping sand here, but removing the rocks. Now the severity of my attempts to record a piece to camera on top of the breakwater. Surfing industries have been completely affected. Now both these industries were very popular among the local and foreign tourists. But today, there seem to be no, seem to be no more. Now, other than the local surfing and tourism industry, the two natural coral reefs that made the Unavatuna beach. And again, my efforts were futile. That made the Unavatuna beach safe for swimming is not existing. The peak of the tourist season at Unavatuna is from December to February. But due to the difficulties that have arisen as a result of the beach nourishment process, tourists are being driven away. Who will decide the fate of this iconic location? Kuduna Vatuna entered the record books as the world's best beach once again.